And now, The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy. It's been more than a year since the election of President Hassan Rouhani in Iran. And despite his campaign promises, Iran's human rights situation has not improved. Hundreds of political prisoners remain incarcerated. Executions after dubious trials continue. The internet is still censored and ethnic and religious minorities are persecuted. In testimony before Congress, Dr. Robert George, chairman of the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom, said the Iranian regime's human rights and religious freedom record must feature centrally in any assessment of Iran. And the picture is bleak. Iran's already dire religious freedom conditions have deteriorated during the Rouhani tenure, particularly for Baha'is, Christians, and Muslims belonging to minority Sufi and Sunni sects. He pointed also to the plight of imprisoned Shia cleric Ayatollah Bourujerdi and the cases of jailed Christian pastors Farshid Fatih and Saeed Obedini. Dr. George noted that dissidents and rights defenders have been increasingly targeted for the spurious crime of waging war against God. But the regime's theocratic rulers are waging war against basic human rights of the Iranian people. These abuses demand our attention and action, said Dr. George. And in light of the ongoing nuclear negotiations, he called on Iran to demonstrate a commitment to peaceful intentions abroad by ceasing its war at home against its own people and their rights. That was The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy.